Good day and welcome to another edition of the preview of today's racing. Today we have racing from Turbentine and Durbanville. What we will do is we will first preview the, the Turbentine meeting and then we will preview the Durbanville meeting today, 17th of October. Before I start, just one or two things that I would like to touch on. For the person that is watching this video for the first time, just the following. What we do here at Outside Genius, we do a form analysis of each race and we give you, um, uh, after our analysis, we give you possible outsiders that you can include into your play. In other words, we give you outsiders and then you add them to your own selections that you prefer. And hopefully if those outsiders arrive, you will then be, will be getting the bigger payout. Um, we also offer a daily um, analysis service where we give you specific selections race by race, as well as a, affordable PA and pick six and a quartet and trifecta selections, which you can play as is or use some of those numbers in your play or add on to that or whatever you want to want to do with that. We also give you a, a, a each way um, a value bet that you can play. And then we also give you base bets of the day. We don't give you a nine to 10 that you can find yourself. You don't need outside a genie for that. We do try and give you a base bet with value, like um, on the ball on uh, Thursday, we gave you a four to one shop whipping boy who won by two legs jumping at a nice odds of four to one for a base bet. So let us now move on to do the racing and the racing here today. Oh yeah, before I forgot, we do offer that services and currently, that service, um, the normal price is 500 Rand, but because we're in the middle of the month, you can now subscribe to that service for 250 for the rest of the month until end of October. So yes, race number one, let's look at the betting. It's a maiden plate for free of uh, over 1450. And please excuse my voice. My voice is not too good. So I'll be having a drink of water now and then. So Joe, just forgive me for that. Race one, number one, 17 to 10. Race two, Leisure, 15 to four. Make a penny, five to one, Perfect Angel, six to one. 12 to one, Sunset Bleach. 12 to one, Right Choice, 14 to one, and longer the rest. What I'm doing now is, um, I, I do have a problem in terms of people wanting me to touch on the more per race and other people wanting me to keep the, the video short. So what I'm doing now is, I give you my selections race. Uh, my first selection is my outright selection. That is the selection that I think that will win the race and that can be at any price. And then my other two selections is my outsider selections in no specific order of which I think can, can probably uh, win or place and which you can then, then um, add on to your, um, your selections. So here my first selection is um, number two, Leisha Star. The favorite is Miss Win Venezuela. But when you look at Lasha Star, um, it's the first time it's going over this distance, but I think this will even sort this horse uh, better. But if you see, um, Lasha Star constantly runs on nice under, uh, under 24 seconds, 400 to finish. And that is a good sign because I um, think anything under 24 seconds is, is okay in terms of running on the, of the, on the last 400 meters. She's also run against some strong opposition. Here we have Winter Smoke, who won a full small future in Durban. Afternoon tea is not a donkey. So um, my choice here goes for number two. If you have a look at number one, means with Zara, the favorite. This horse has, has, has only um, has never run under 24 seconds, the last 400 to finish. So to me, that is a bit of a concern. It is drawn to. Um, yeah, I think Robert will go to the lead again, but um, yeah, my preference is this race number two. Outside of selections you can look at is number three, Make a Penny. This mode is with Indy. Um, um, uh, Philly is improving. Last time out, only one and a half links behind the winner. Stayed on, so definitely likes the distance. And with Lyle Hewitson on board, who's riding well, currently leading the lot. You can't go wrong on that one. Then my other selection is number 12. A right choice is a global view, a bold choice by lecture. 
It didn't debut too well, but it uh, sudden charm, I think, one by five or six links that day, slowing to stride, but unfortunately, draw 10. But I like the breeding of Global U View by this lecture, me. And number 12, right choice can improve. 11, Perfect Angel is a, a flower alley filly by uh, Holy, Roman, uh, Holy, Holy Roman Empire, me. Um, watch out for that one on his debut, on her debut. Let's move on to race number two. We have a maiden plate over 1,600 meters, betting as follows. Royal Bluff, 33 to 10. Star World, 33 to 10. The Gypsy King, 7 to 2. Um, 5 to 1, Midnight Caller. Quattro Passi, 10 to 1. 12 to 1, and longer the rest. So let's have a look here. So race number two, my outside selection goes to number four, the favorite. It's a, cur a, cur a crusade by Connemara Black, which uh, she has won a few races. This horse run on well, has run against some decent opposition. Um, last time out ran in a small future in Natal and wasn't disgraced. And I think based on that run, surely must have a very good chance winning this race. If we see Greens here, he's got, he's got, he's got lots of ability. Winter stories again. Ram Chandari Road, I think, was placed again. So definitely number four, Royal, uh, Royal Wheel, with some excellent form. Um, outside the selections, I'll go for number one, Kotsa Passing. There's always often placed Pierre Stradom, but unfortunately, I have a wide draw again. If you have a look, there's always in his last three races, all had wide draws, and even there, 13 out of 14, forcing him to go to the front. And every get times get out the run. But one of these days, they're going to uh, get it right. Maybe today, but I'm not sure from draw 12. In other, my other outsider's election is number nine. Midnight Caller, this is a twice over by Captain L. Mayer. Um, this horse ran very really well. He's a slow ran on uh, over the 1200. Now I'm sure the 600 will suit him better. 22.6, not bad for the last 400 to finish. So definitely have a horse to include in all your calculations. Yes, Cobra, Cobra, a captain of all, by Jared Me, um, drawn 11, but put in the back end of your quartets and possibly place. Yeah, there's some horses of nice form in here, and yeah, you must, um, uh, yes, number 11 states for, uh, um, a world, also did a nice debut. The Gavaya from Grove 5 for Michael Cock can also be involved in the finish, was only 1.65 behind the winner. 23.8 fastest 400 to, to finish. So number 11, uh, stage with, definitely in with a chance. Yes, number 12, Tagari can also be an improver. So let's move on to race number three. Another maiden plate over 2,600 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is number two, fast draw 15 to 10, Fort Love 26 to 10, The Sandwich Man 28 to 10, Fort Alada 10 to 1, 14 to 1, and longer the rest. Yeah, my selection is for number one, the Sandwich Man, Duke of Marmalade by Robin, uh, Rambo Dance and me. This was, um, did improve last time out, but then second. And I think maybe this was the distance this horse has been looking for. So definitely the Sandman in with a chance, but it's not, it's not like I would run to the, uh, bookmakers to get my money on it's but you know with these long distance anything can happen number two fast draw going this distance for the first time although they didn't run bad um last time over the 2000 meters um maybe uh, looking at the crusade by zamanu me as you know as the breeding to stay this distance so watch out for the bad one of pierce stratum on board then number uh, five, Fort Pilato, also improved last time out in the same range behind Fast Draw. So maybe a good, a good one for a place. The same goes for Royal Seek. Uh, Royal Seek also runs indifferently, um, you know, never runs two races the same. But in this weak field, and I apologize to the trainers and the owners, but it's a really a weak field. Royal Seek can possibly place. Then we move on to race number four, which is a creation plate. Over a thousand four hundred and fifty. So here we have. Um, let's have a look at the betting first. Uh, 
The one for even mine, 9 to 25 to 1 will express be a straight 11 to 2, what you are, 8 to 1, 14 to 1, foreign field, my kingdom, scratch number 6 and number 8. So here we have a strong favorite in number 4, um, that um, for even mine, um, in debut and 1 by 2 lens um, and carry in, and it looks like this horse um, might be a has can be horse with ability and can go in again. Um, number one, Pure State did won a future in Cape Town that uh, fell as a start to finish over the 40 meters and then run against two strong races and then came back last time out, not straightening out. But has got the ability to, um, to upset in this race. He's also the best weighted horse, but the horse that interests me is this number five, Willow Express. Willow Express is with Willow Magic, which I believe is going to become a the good stallion. Uh, he won his first race over the distance, 1,400 meters, and then um, ran in, the, in, Joba, uh, in Durban in that season. Again, Garan is Garan and No Breeze, 2.15 lane behind No Breeze. And then I expected it to run well in the, on the 25th of August. But it, it it didn't run well, but it was only five and a half links behind seen by destiny. So definitely, and Lyle Hughes and riding. So I would think that would be the stable preference. Definitely all that you need to include in all your bets. Then we move on to race number five. Now race number five, the betting is as follows. Um, put in Promise 22 to 10, 33 to 10, certifiable River Jordan 9 to 2, Willy Willy 7 to 1, Wild and Grey 8 to 1, Op Icon 10 to 1, Gold Patient 14 to 1, and 16 to 1, Kyla's Champ. Now, when I look at this race immediately, I did favor the two um, horses from um, Surgeon Grey. But when I started looking and uh, looking at forms, I got I started to see Pop Icon has, has run some decent races in, on the same, against the same class. Um, and then also Kyla's Champ has run against much stronger horses in, um, in um, you know, previously. So then I, and then I saw the more I started looking at the form, um, Robert Jordan has also run um, some nice races, but um, has been run against a little bit uh, a lower grade. Wild Grey can improve. It's still a four-year-old filly. Hasn't had lots of runs, only carrying 53. And the more I look at it field, I just realize that anything can this uh, uh, can win this race. Uh, yes, I did go for um, one of the um, runners from the Sergeant Grey stable, number six, Putin's Promise. But this horse keep on running second, you know. Uh, there's a story that says you back a horse until it loses. You don't back it until it's won. So um, it's not with a big conviction that I'm tipping Putin's promise. Um, I do have, I also like the likes of Kayla Champ, which is 16 to one and pop icon. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, I decided for the, the sake of the pick six, do include all of these runners into your pick six if you can afford it, because anything can win this race. As I said, for my, um, not a very confidence, uh, I go for number, for number six. And number five must have a chance. And even this number one, um, uh, number two, it's a Cornet piece, is at only two run for Cornet. Last time around, ran, ran on nicely 23.1. And if you look here, you'll see this horse has had his best races around about 14 to 16 to one. It's a six year old, but there's only raced 16 times. Um, so definitely, um, you know, this horse was off from April, uh, April 2019 to October 20, uh, just now, I mean, so uh, obviously we'll need a run on two, but definitely Golden Patient also not without a chance. Uh, Whirly Whirly hasn't run over this distance before, but the way he runs on, you know, he can run on from behind and also be involved in a VC. So uh, in this race, all in all, a very open race. Then we move to race number number six, which is a merit rated 98 handicap for three year olds. And here the betting is number three, Malamuz, even money, five to one, Miss Elegant, four to one after hours, five to one after hours, six to one, Tanzanite Queen, 
Esther flamed 12 to 1, St. Andrew's 12 to 1, wine tasting 12 to 1. No, and then I look at this race and I see this horse being beaten, being, you know, even money. Yeah, it did debut well by three and a half links. Um, but the problem is, I'm not sure how good that field is. Already five runners, no winners from that. Um, and if I have a look here at number one, wow, did this horse finish last time? I watched this race. He came from nowhere with a 1450, was drawn 10 out of 11. Today, uh, drawn better. Pierce Trader on board. I do like his stable in fire and is is in in fine form. His horse ran debut in a, in, in in a juvenile, winning by 7.25 links. Then ran against um, Springs of Carmel, and that was also a strong race in the nursery. And here it comes, and it runs at 21.8. I uh, believe believe that Miss Elegance can be too strong for this favorite. Yeah, uh, I mean I've been in racing a long time, and uh, this. Not, there's nothing like this, definitely no certainties in racing. And I do believe Ms. Elegance today um, at five to one can give you some nice each way value. Yeah, then we have also a look at number two, Tanzanite Queen uh, from the Grand Cotton Stable. Also ran some nice races in the Cape Town, now, now in Joburg, can also be involved in the finish. Um, so all in all, um, after Alvarez has already won two races, no donkey himself. So definitely also an open race, but I think that the race will be between number one and number five, Malmuz. But I won't be rushing, taking that short odds on Malmuz, even to money, even money. So let's look at race number six. Okay, race number, um, race numbers, um, yeah, race number seven, I apologize. Race number seven. Here we have a Meritrader 98 divided handicap over 1200 meters, class B 91. Let's have a beating here 5 to 2 Visa Way, 5 to 2 Spanish Boy, 53 to 10 Winter Stories, 4 to 1 Battle of Trafalgar, 9 to 2, 11 to 2 Bezerac, 14 to 1 and longer the rest. Uh, here my selection is number seven, which is a uh, is Wizard Way. Wizard Way one is maiden with my nine links, and then after that, also um, with the same jockey carrying 48 as to as today again. Um, definitely in with a um, definitely in with a big chance for carrying that weight again, and I do believe Wizard Way. Um, is going to be too good for this field. Better of Trafalgar coming off a rest, so um, you, you probably might need to run a little bit. Um, last run in July, also in the games in a strong field. Has got capabilities, can improve. Do include in your in your calculations. Then number eight, um, Spanish boys. Spanish boys running well. Always there and be about Only carrying fifty two. And I'm sure we'll will give a good account of him, of himself. So let's move on to race number number eight, which is a minute rated 79 divided handicap, class C average minute rating 74. Let's have a look at the betting. Race number eight, number one, Copper Mountain, 17 to 10, Camper 4 to 1, Break the Sign is 92, Silver Master 9 to 1, Undisclosed. 12 to 1, 16 to 1, Battle Creek, and Ground Guardian, Ground Guardian, 20 to 1, and longer the rest. Race 8. My selection goes to number 1, Cobble Mountain. Um, last time out, it won well. Um, in um, a slightly higher division is running in now. Um, that was a bullet rate at 83. Today, we're having a 74. But I mean it won well, and Captain Marisco comes with a big reputation, and he just finished 22.6, nice 400 to finish, and I'm sure this horse can go in again. Outside of selections, number four, Silver Master is running well, um, has run in this type of division last time. Second to Holy Man, again, bothered the favorite. And then also number six, Guardian from the same stable, has also been running against Stronger, and also in the same race with Holy Man, um, yeah, this bottom with his horses has got the, uh, the ability of popping up 
when you expected as expected the the least um break the sun and just broke his like his maiden last time out so we'll have to wait to see if it can if, uh, you know what kind of form it has in open company number two camper camper also won well on his um maiden play from all on board definitely in with a huge chance in a uh, huge chance as well brett sully's landing by jetmaster she's asked for a few nice mares so do include in all your bets number two camper now let's move down to race number nine it is a uh, merit rated fillies and mares 85 handicap class c average median rating 82. here we have another uh, favorites of uh, greens two to one four to one cream soda eleven to two royal lily the fifth way seven to one Muleta, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, Winters Brower, 12 to 1, 40 to 1, 12 Oaks, and 20 to 1, and longer the rest. So, yeah, my selection goes to number 8. Gold uh, number 8 is um, Muleta. Muleta has debuted well behind Manakura, then won a second race and last time out behind Philadelphia. Um, Ran on 22.2. It says he had no strong kick, but 22.2 definitely is not, not too bad. And I'm looking for improvement from number eight, Muleta. Um, your favorite is number one, Greens. He ran away two races ago against Latisha's Ainda, uh, won easily. And then last time out, ran against Anna Capri. Unfortunately, Anna Capri got beaten on, on Thursday, but still strong form. Roy Lilly also has got some good form, has been running a few places, is also knocking on the door. And uh, the fifth waves, that's a club of horse who's always there and thereabouts, always runs his best. He has trade him as a huge reputation for always winning the last leg, so definitely do include. So all in all, uh, also a race with a few, few horses with chances. So um, that now brings us to the end of um, our um meeting we we'll now move over to Durbanville. before we start Durban well it's just something I want to mention I've been talking the last two days about you know that I needed to uh, because I couldn't make I can't make a living out of outside of genie and the, and the few um, you know so, um, subscriptions that I sell so I got involved in another business where I had to start up with a hundred rand. And then I invited people and I said, you know what? Send me your name, ask for information, because I'm sure that there are people out there who really need extra income. I know I've been a punter my whole life. Punters are always short of money because sometimes they, they use the kitchen money to play the horses or they just don't enough, have enough money or they would have liked to play something more but then there's just money. So here's the opportunity that I can present to you. It's straight up. It is, there's no scam. The money goes directly into your, into your pocket. Whatever you do, you, you get the money in your pocket. I started 10 days ago. 10 days ago, I've managed to have an income of 1,600 and it's growing every day, day by day, my income is growing. And then, I saw yesterday there was 80 people who viewed my video. Now, to my amazement, not a single person said, listen, give me information, I need money. So I take it that you 80 people that watch this video, you are all in the money, you're doing well, you've got enough money to, to cover all your monthly expenses and also still have money left to punt. Or you must be very astute punters making a lot of money so that you can say, listen, I don't need a business opportunity. I don't have a, or, uh, you know, I'm not going to bother with a business where I have to put in 100 rand. So, yeah, I'm just sorry to hear that. But again, I do invite you. Send me your details to 0612310193. If you need money, guys, you know, how much effort is that? If I need money and I'm in, the, in trouble and I know I'm short of cash, I would be the first one sending this guy <laughs> my info and say, listen, where can I sign up? Never mind giving information. I will someone say straight up for a hundred grand, I'll sign up, teach me the business. That's what I would have done. I wouldn't even bother to watch the video. 
because if he shows me these figures, I'm in. Because I can see it, his business is growing. So whatever he does, I also want to do. That's what I would have done. But yeah, maybe you're not me. And, you know, maybe a hundred bucks is like the end of the world for you. Although you might spend more than a hundred rand on punting the horses. I don't know. But surely, if you're in need of money and you don't respond to this, then, um, yeah, I don't even want to say the word. But now let's move on. Yeah, maybe I'm going to be lambasted again for advertising this. But yeah, unfortunately, nobody is paying for this video. Somebody must pay for this video. And I'm the guy paying for it. You know, so uh, my time, my data. And I give you the information gladly. So let's have a look at the betting race one, Durbanville. Let's wait for this thing to open. Yes, you may have the betting. Number one, fire for sure, 15 to 10. Silvanus so timer, 18 to 10. Pacific Duke, 11 to 2. Taking Silk, 8 to 1. 20 to 1. Masumo, and 30 to 1. And longer the rest. Yeah, I had, uh, for me, it was two choices. It was between number uh, 1 and number 10, Silvanus so timer. But then I saw that number 1, um, was drawn better and that swing in, in number in his favor for sure. Karari has had three, three races, two seconds and a third, and you know, uh, drawn eight. Definitely number one, I think. With I'll do the mayor on board, will have a huge chance in this race. Then, outside the selections in this race that I go for is number two. Pacific Duke, Anton Marcus on board, but drawn 11 and uh, it runs some nice races and is improving. Last time out, only just over two lengths behind Celtius. And I think Pacific Duke will be an improvement and even over long distance because this May Pacific Dynasty, she comes from a long line of stayers, um, which I'm not going to go into that now. And other outsider selection is number 11 which is talking silk. It's also Savannah by Jetmaster Me. Man, what the breeding. And I'm sure this horse will also improve. Richard Furry, Justin Snipe will also be improving just for interest. Um, that is the same colors as Stratovarius running in England. So here we are, Savannah's timer. He's drawn 10, but he also ran on well in his first race, 23.6. So definitely not without a chance. Um, yeah, so I think we're looking forward to a race between number one and number 10, but I could be wrong. I have seen um, outsiders pop up in, in Cape Town like you can't believe. So let's move on to race number two, which is a maiden plate for three-year-olds over 1,400 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is number 11, a very weedy, weechy, 15 to 10, 92, Caribo, live on March, 15 to 1, a 5 to 1, 7 to 1, Chase Campbell at 9 to 1, no more Mr. Nice Guy, 10 to 1 Grand Vision, Serious Tappet, 20 to 1, 20 to 8 to 1, and longer the race. So let's have a look at the betting. I had a field here. We are first selection is number 11, the favorite. Wendy Vidi Vici, drawn one, uh, ran on nicely on his first on his debut, 22.9. And if we can repeat that, we'll be hard to beat in this race. Outsider selections in this race, um, one of my outsider selections is this number 10 series tapet, a coup de gras by for me, um, ran five and a half lengths over the 12.50 and now going 1400 meters, but drawn 11, but put into your quartets can be involved in the finish. And then um, my other outsider selection is number one, no more, no, uh, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. It's a Lardo drawn two Robert Carty riding and also last night in uh, reproof improved behind Shaboom, and I think we'll also like the 1,400 meters, well drawn at drawn number two. So, um, yeah, then, um, yeah, there is some other horses with chances. Grand Vision can improve, a visionaire. Kariba Hall also uh, from draw 10. Justin Snape can also be involved, has been running on 
uh, has been running um, well the last time out 23.8 can be can also be involved in the fees life of mars is a global view first time anton marcus aboard definitely a horse to watch out um, can also surprise then we move on to race number three where we have another maiden plate for free old fillies over 1400 meters betting as follows Number six, black silver, 17 to 20. Oh, what a night for 15 to four. 13 to uh, seven to one, fly to you. Hey, look how the betting is changing as we speak. 17 to 20, black silver now. 11 to one, crimson princess. 16 to one, glitter in the air. And 25 to one and longer. Yeah, here it looks between number six and number 13. And my preference go for number 13. Oh, what a night, drawn one has run well um, and um, definitely I think will be there when the photos are taken. The longer distance, this trippy by Jetmaster Me will definitely suit this horse. Let's have a look at number six. It also debuted well. Um, it's very well bred, Ebony Flyer, and a very nice me, pro nice winners, Black Silver. Um, last time out came from way behind on a Durban Wolf drawn 10 out of 13, today, today drawn 5, Gavin Van Cat on board, ran 22.6, Grace Green, yeah, definitely in with a shout, it cannot be left out. Um, other outsider selections you can look at is number 1 and number 2, I've got number 1 here, Fly to Row, Ro, Fly to Rue, who I think can improve over this distance, drawn 4, to exactly riding, and number 2, Rosie Road has placed last time out over the 1400 and can do so again but unfortunately from draw 10 but do include in your quartets so let's now move on to race number four where we have another maiden plate over the thousand meters let's look at the betting here the betting is number one arctic ice 18 to 10 72 kirat 11 to 2 waterfly 7 to 1 lady gathering grand princess 7 to 1 7 to 1 winter fury 14 to 1 and bet the rest. Yeah, here we have number one, which I fancy strongly, has run, has been running well. Um, again, look at this race with Count Veronica Mars. It's a pity we can't see what is that, but was the fastest one to, to finish. Last time out 22, um, ran second behind Iris, so definitely in with a chance. And then um, there's a lot of form behind Iris going around. Um, my other outside is being number two, Lady Catherine. I'll do the mayor riding. I'm sure this horse is going to run well. Here again, these are the iris form that we're having a look at. And also number six, my outside of selection, Gailey Curl. Also the iris form, but now getting the minus two, so, and she didn't finish too far, can now turn around some of the form on the other finishes in that same race as iris. So the iris uh, form, Going through here, we have number 10, Iris, also bound in Iris form. So, but my, still my preference, number one. Let's move to race number five, which is a fully submerged 75 divided handicap over 2,000 meters, class D, merit rating 68. And here we have a smallish field, number one, perfect storm, scratched, four lunar, 260 to 10, 22 fine balls, 22 to 10, big suit, three to one. Must they race six to one, power goes six to one. Let's have a look at the betting. Okay, the field. Yeah, the favorite is Pink, is Luna Tunes. And I think after the scratching of number one, Luna Tunes definitely the right choice to win this race. Has been running well these last two races and um, definitely in with a chance in this race. Um, did run there in a stronger division as well as there, 75, 73, and now finding itself in a a bit of a lower division, I think. Uh, but 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 watch out for number six, Power Girl. Uh, Power Girl, um, I think, um, uh, is the type of horse that can upset in the small field. There's a thing it says, the the smaller the field, the bigger the upset. Okay, but not so betting. But has also been running well in the last two races. Can surprise and win this race. So definitely include. Yeah, I found other races that have got a small chance. Fine balls. Um, as the Ray likes to go to the front in this form of field can try and skip away like she did the previous time, but one will have to wait and see. Don't know what went wrong with the, the last race against St. Mistress. So 
So let's move on to race number six, where we have a fully submitted 93 divided handicap over 2,000 meters, class D average merit rating 83. Here we have number one, flame three, 16 to 10, double rewards 15 to four, first street five to one, rewrite the star seven to one, bold diva seven to one, Rosalie runs eight to one, catch a falling star eight to one. Now here, my first selection is number seven, bold diva. This table is getting wins, but if you have a look at this bold diva, he's got form, collateral form with number one, flame three behind sing out loud day and sing out loud day. Now, if you have a look, you'll see that in the previous races, there was like one kilogram difference. Now today, the difference is 11 and a half kilogram difference that number seven, Bold, v, Bold Diva has on uh, number one, Flame Tree. And even on the run here on the 9th of June, behind Sing Out, uh, Sing Out Loud, that finished seven and a half lengths behind Sing Out Loud. Now, let me show you something. Flame Tree, in that same race, finished 11 lengths behind Sing Out Loud on the same weight difference. Now there's 11 and a half kilograms. Now, and even on this race here, um, I don't know what went wrong with this horse in its previous start, but I'm sure today it's going to run a huge race. Uh, and, and definitely with that kind of weight, weight in the round, must have a huge uh, chance. And also have the dash collateral form with number five double reward also behind the Sing Out Loud form. So definitely uh, on, on weight, number seven do have advantage. And also, yeah, watch out for number five double reward. Can also request a number five double reward. Has also got that we, it's carrying last time out 59. Now only carrying 52 and a half. So that number five also have a huge weighted turnaround with number one, flame three. So I don't think number one is such a huge favorite with, a, with a, such a good chance. Rosary runs, can also uh, run well, can also be involved in a finish. So all in all, uh, if you play the pick six, put a field into this, into this pick, into the pick six, uh, it might be the wisest thing to do. So let's move on to race number seven. Race number seven is, is a merit rate 80 handicap class C. Average merit rating 83. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is number eight, Real Gun Keep, seven to two. Number one, Russian Rock, four to one. My Hopes and Dreams, five to one. Rafino, five to one. Midnight Badger, six to one. Doppy and the Oreo, eight to one. And 12 to one and longer the rest. The MI choice goes to number one, Russian Rock. Russian Rock has one and placed last last time behind Speed Machine. And uh, that was on a soft going. Today going over, uh, I would probably think better going. Also again, a 1400 meter, which I think looking at this braiding will suit this horse better. Then um, the favorite is number eight. Let's have a look at number eight. A real gone kid, the USA imp uh, Australian import. Debut and then ran uh, start to finish over the 12.50. Uh, Real Gone Kid definitely in with a chance, but I won't think, I don't think it is like all, it's gonna be one way traffic. Then um, also have a look at number five, Taratino. Taratino, Bridget Fourie, Justin Snape. This horse ran twice behind Global Drama. I think Global Drama is like already six, six wins and has run against some nice opposition before. So also not without a chance. Six Midnight Badger, getting the minus four, and also been running good races behind all the like Lucky Dog, Dancer, Russian Harry, after winning its mate, taking a while to win its mate, and hasn't been, you know, um, has been still close to the winner. So, number six Midnight Badger, the type of horse that can surprise. So, do include in all your play. Yeah, and then let's move on to the last race where we have a Fully submits 80 handicap over 49 meters class C, merit rated 78. So let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is number 11 in a half. Wins a beat 72, in a half 72, 
Eleven to two, Rocket Girl. Spring is in the air. Six to one, six to one, Green Light Girl. A Fay nine to one, ten to one, Grey Princess. Alvarez Girl fourteen to one. So yeah, my fav my favorite or my selection is number one, Rocket Girl. I don't know if you guys remember, but when this horse won at fourteen to one V on the twenty two of August, I gave you this horse. I mean, I gave you that day. It was still twenty to one. Unfortunately, drawn 11, but came out and last time out ran an, another good race behind Gimme Gimme. And I think Rocket Girl can go in here again today. Then um, let's have a look at number 11, which is a favorite. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure why to get excited about this horse. This horse has won a maiden and then last time out in a graduation and five and a half lengths behind Rio Garari. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why. Uh, why it's favorite, but maybe I'm stupid. I don't know what's going on. In my outsider selections for this race is number five, which is um, Divas Express, a trippy, a trippy, by Philly, Grand Cap on Dwight, drawn 10, but won well, uh, 3.7, and last time out, finished nicely, 23.9, stayed on from the air. I think this horse can improve and can be involved in a finish. And then number, my other outsider selection is number seven, Offer its goal, run some huge races also from the Crawford stable, which is in form and is not running too far behind the winners. Now, also running down a little bit in division, and I'm sure Offer its goal can be involved in the finish. So, that brings us to the end of our, um, our previews. I hope I can point you in the right direction. And as I always say, break a leg. <laughs>